हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 26 ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए इन दिस वीडियो आई एल डिस्कस हाउ टू बाइन ड्रॉप डाउन इन एम यूजिंग कोविड 19 एपीआई सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट 26 प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट 19 ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए हाउ टू कंज्यूम एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए यूजिंग एस पी डॉट एंड एस क्लाइंट टू गेट एम्प्लॉय डिटेल्स सो दिस पार्ट नाइनटीन कंज्यूम दैट इज अनदर वेब ए पी but in this part 26 i will show you the different web api url and how to consume to get the country details and in this video how i will show you how to add a model add a controller and a view and code for binding drop down using web api so guys uh, before going through this um, my code you can see this uh, this is the a path to my get the url that is documenter.getpostman.com and you can see the countries get request just click on it and you can see get countries just copy this url it will return all available countries and provinces as well as the country log for for country request so i copy this url go to my postman paste here and select the get request from the drop down and send request and you can see i got the 200 okay status and I, I am getting the response right okay now i'll go to my visual studio so in my part 19 already have created this mbc project so in this existing project i'll add some new files so step one is i need to add the class file right so in models folder i can create the country dates class file here so in class file i need to add some properties should be same as the response like country log and iso2 so i need to convert this json object to c sharp class so just copy this and go to this url that is the json to c sharp dot com this one is for json section this one is for c sharp so i copy space this uh, section here and click on convert and you can see this json things is converted to your class file and the related properties like uh, country slog and iso2 so i copy this stuff and go to my class file so this is the country date.cs so open this class file and i paste it here so here by default it will create the class file as a root but for my better understanding i put it here as my class file is country date right so this is the way we need to add the class file and convert the json object to a c sharp class and second step is go to my controller and here i have added the uh, controller file called country controller dot cs all right so i need to open this file and guys here i need to add few namespace that is the system dot net dot http this is for access the http client and its related methods and properties and this namespace is used to access the this class uh, and its property names so this is all about the namespace and inside index action method i have uh, include the type of my country date class as i enumerable and set at null as initially and here i have instantiate of the http client class and here i have added my base address that is the url of web api that is nothing but this one all right and here i called countries default get all records and uh, you can see this variable response tags and client dot get async so get async method is used to send a get request and this countries is the is like a controller right this is the complete path of url so what uh, this is one section of url is mentioned here as a base address and this is the uh, countries controller inside the get async method to get the all the records of countries and its related stuff here using this variable set as wet and next line is i used to store result of web api response so in variable result i have in uh, mentioned the response tag dot result and here i'll check some conditions if result is succeeded what it is and if not what it is so if it is result succeeded that is the result dot is succeed status code then using read task there is the code here is a read async extension method 
So this read async is the exten extension method in uh, system.net.http.formatting, uh, right? So this this used to return a task that will yield an object of the specified type from content instance. All right, and here in I include the country that in I list, and here I mentioned the read uh, read task to wet method, and include the, I have also returned the result of a read task to country that object of the of this uh, enumerable of country that here right so this is the if the result is succeeded if not then for error response I have mentioned here as enumerable it is a provide a set of static method for querying object that implements I enumerable so using this class I have mentioned here empty of country date if there is no responses getting from this class and model start dot add model error that is string dot empty and the response output will be visible to the end user and after then I have I need to return the view for specific index action method that is I have passed the country dates object here so it will create a view result object by using model that renders a view alright guys so this is all about country controller so I need to add the view for specific controller file so right click on it the index alright and add the add view and here guys in in the template section we should mention here as empty and in models we should uh, upload this flap in this class file that's country dead right so for this controller I have created the country dead class file so we need to uh, select this country dead class file here and once it's done you need to add here so when it's, once you have added you can see you just expand this views and you can see country inside country folder so can this folder is same as default by creating visual studio that, that should be same as the controller class file so inside con country for folder there is one index.cshtml is creating so i open this one right so guys initially there is no i enumerable so at the rate model i have mentioned here i enumerable and the inside i have whatever the class object i have uploaded that is nothing but the you can see here that is the class when you created the uh, that is the index action index cshtml page so i have uh, selected this option from the drop down so that it will showing here so i set it as i enumerable and inside i set as the title that is get country details and in s2 tag it will show list of country slogs and iso2 and here i have mentioned i have created the table tag mentioned here as class table trtd and inside the first td section i have used i i need to show the list of country names in one drop down so here select class form control and option value selected disabled this country name will be shown uh, in the in the drop down right this will be disabled this this one it cannot be selected and i need to use our for each loop that is a var item in model and using this mod using this object that is item variable i need to access the country properties that that should be this one country so here using added item dot country so it will show all the country names so same way in second td i have i need to show as the slog names so here i using for each loop I, I have used the var item in model and using item uh, I can access the this log property from country dot class file and like this in third or last TD section I have used for I, I have used the drop down for getting ISO2 names so in for each loop I, I have used the var item in model and inside using item I, I have uh, I got the access to uh, get the property name that is iso2 like this in country class file country data class file i have used this property name iso2 so guys here you can see all the three properties and in our index.html i got all three 
property access using the model class file. So this is all about my index.cshtml. After then I, I need to uh, close the respective tags for td, tr and tw. Once it is done, I need to build my solution here. So guys here build is succeeded and I need to run my application. So guys here you can see I can see the output and you can see the my control RAM country and the view is index. So I set this as in my app underscore start folder. So you can see underscore app underscore start folder you just uh, expand this and go to route config.cs alright so you can see inside controller I have mentioned the country and the action method name is index so that when your application is loads first time you can see the controller and the action name is index here so and I can see three different uh, drop downs one is for country second one is for slog names third one is for ISO2 so if you select here country names I can see the list of countries here right I can see list of countries so we need to match these values with my postman request so first name is that is Venezuela Bolivarian Republic second is Korea so select we need to check here using our uh, postman so in response I'm getting that is same country name is first one is Venezuela Bolivarian Republic second country is Korea South all right and uh, we need to check your slog names so we can see all the list of slog names here that is specific to country so first is Venezuela and the second one is Korea South so if you go to here the so slog name is Venezuela and for country Korea the slog name is Korea hyphen South and for ISO2 I am getting the list of ISO2 details right so for uh, this is one is VE and one is KR so need to check here using postman for Venezuela country ISO2 is VE for Korea South the ISO2 is KR so you can see guys all my uh, I can see the whatever consume web API COVID-19 API and I'm, I can see the country names slog names and ISO2 names so in this way we can consume COVID-19 API or any external web API in our MVC and get the result and we can also bind the other server controls like uh, a drop down. So in this video we already have discussed that is how to add model, controller and view and what are the codes for binding drop down using web API. So guys. Uh, please subscribe and sub and uh, like it to get the details on the my upcoming videos that is on dot net dot and core c sharp sql server mbc devops and github so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day